सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने कहा है कि ये जो निशान लगाए गए हैं एविडेंटली जो प्रिजाइडिंग ऑफिसर ने खुद लगाए हैं इन्हीं के बेसिस पर वोट्स को इनवैलिड डिक्लेयर किया गया था और प्रिजाइडिंग ऑफिसर की एज पर लॉ बहुत ही एक अहम भूमिका है जिसको उन्होंने वायलेट किया है और इसके बेसिस के ऊपर उनके खिलाफ 340 के नीचे एक्शन इनिशिएट किया गया है क्या सुप्रीम कोर्ट किस तरह का एक्शन ले सकता है और देखिए जो रॉन्गफुल स्टेटमेंट कोर्ट के सामने करने के लिए कोर्ट कंटेम्प्ट की प्रोसीडिंग्स भी कर सकती है और उनके ऊपर एक कंटेम्प्ट का ट्रायल चलाया जाएगा जिसके लिए उनको तीन हफ्ते का टाइम दिया गया है री इलेक्शन एंड देन ऑफकोर्स एज द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया हिमसेल्फ सेड देटिंग दैट इज टेकिंग प्लेस दिस इज क्वाइट हिस्टोरिक वर्डिक्ट इन मेनी वेज आई थिंक इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्डिक्ट इन द जुडिशियल हिस्ट्री of india the first time the court has intervened in an election process which had been concluded and held that there was a serious irregularity in the election process conducted by the presiding officer who had himself defaced the votes and derailed the elections and the marks that he had put on those ballot papers became the reason for invalidation of those votes the court has now given a verdict that those eight votes which were declared as invalid are actually valid votes and by counting them along with the 12 votes which were polled earlier he gets 20 votes and the petitioner has been declared elected as the mayor of chandigarh municipal corporation there has been no incident like this sir ever in 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 recent times do can you do you ever recall any uh, such incident that has ever happened before because i can't see when an electoral process is done today the supreme court has unilaterally taken that role under the constitution to go ahead and in, and and declare Uh, the uh, uh, you know the mayor uh, so your candidate your petitioner as the ca- candidate i think the electoral process was hijacked by the misconduct of the mayor and the supreme court has taken a very valid cognizance of the same and they have held that the entire edifice of democracy is based upon free and fair elections and in the manner that it is found that they have not conducted themselves fairly is a reason enough to order the election of the mayor in the verdict by the court some strong words uh, by the chief justice of india to anil masi and now issued shokos notice you all are pushing for action against him how do you respond to that yes mr masi was in fact warned yesterday in the court proceedings that whatever he says can be uh, used against him in case it is found to be false in spite of that he made a statement that he has put mark on eight ballot papers because they were defaced and the court has found today by examining the ballot papers itself that there was no defacement of the ballot papers and therefore it is only his marks which were the ground of invalidation they have directed proceedings under 340 of the ipc to be taken against him for making a false statement in court as also for derailing the election process and he has been issued notice for contempt so this will be done by the supreme court registry or by the yes Punjab the registrar general of the supreme court has been directed to proceed in the matter so Thank and you. what what action will be taken against him when you say show cause what are the possible actions that will be taken well there are punishments in the contempt of courts act for making these kind of actions very very culpable and i'm sure the court will proceed in accordance with law